Well, art and painting is a reflection of the tradition and culture of the place from where they originate and evolve. And one such art is Madhubani painting or Madhubani art. Hello everyone, this is Satyam and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to tell you all about Madhubani painting. Where did it originate and how did people come to know about it? How do I do my Madhubani painting? What are the different kinds of product do I use? And I want to showcase some of my talents, some of the Madhubani paintings which I have uh, like painted recently. So before wasting any further time, let's get started with some of my paintings. So this is my recent set of painting, a set of four elephants, which I have painted on the background of four different colors, red, blue, yellow and orange. And I have framed them using the black colored frames. And I have used poster paints and really vibrant colors to make them look really bright and beautiful. I have hung them in a set of four on the white color background of my bedroom and they are looking really beautiful together. So this is yet another set of my painting and in this one there is Radha and Krishna. They are playing together. I have used certain vibrant colors and bright colors uh, in order to give it a really uh, vibrant and bright look. I have used the black colored frame for its framing. This is yet another painting which has a lot of creativity in it with a yellow colored border and black colored frame. and. Uh, Yet again, this is my painting in which there is Radha and Krishna and they are playing holy together. I have hung all the three paintings together in a set on the wall of my dining room and they all look great together. Well, this is the most creative corner of my room where I usually sit down and make a Madhubani painting. And here are the different set of things which I use while making a Madhubani painting. These are the papers, handmade papers of different colors. These are the set of different markers, colors of markers. These are the different kinds of paints which I use. And this is the protector, the coloring plate. And here's the set of the entire paints which are available in the market. These are some of the extra paints which I have bought. And here's a 3D uh, like highlighter. This is of golden color. But various colors are available in the market. And uh, apart from this, this color is my favorite. And I try to use this color in almost all the paintings that I make. And... Uh, then are my sketch pen sets and here are the pencils as well as the paint brushes. So this is the pencil set which has numerous pencils of uh, 2B, 4B, 6B, 8B uh, numbers and here are the paint brushes of different numbers like 8, 11, 6, uh, 5 etc. And there are certain other small brushes which are of uh, size 0, 1, 2, 3 and uh, these are the brushes. Uh, so yeah, this is my creative corner, the most positive corner of my room where I usually sit and prepare my paintings. So I hope you like the paintings which I have made and the different kinds of products which I usually use for making a single Madhuvani painting. So yeah. Now let me head on to some of the interesting facts about Madhubani painting. So how many of you know like when Madhubani painting originated and when was it actually known to the world? Well, the origination is about 2500 years back during the Ramayan period but then it was known to the world only after 1934. So what happened in 1934? Bihar was struck by a very severe earthquake and Madhubani painting has originated in uh, Madhubani area of Bihar. So what happened? The then British colonizer William G. Archer, a person who had much interest towards art and culture, he was investigating the areas which was damaged due to earthquake. So he found one of the walls on which Madhubani painting was done and it was totally damaged. He was quite attracted by the kind of painting he saw on that and he told the other colonizers and in this way the entire world today 
today knows of Madhubani painting. But then the history goes back to the Ramayan period. Now let me tell you some of the interesting facts about uh, Madhubani painting. Like it usually is uh, made instantly. Like no previous uh, sketches are required. Only bright colors are used, and uh, earlier natural colors were used. Now every kind of colors are used. Earlier fingers and twigs were used to make it. Nowadays we use paint brushes, pens, nibs, etc. And uh, usually the theme revolves around something like nature. It will usually have flowers, fruits, trees. birds clouds sun moon star deities and because of the like painting of deities on the trees uh, it has saved much and much trees from being cut down and hence like has prevented deforestation which is a good thing in a way and uh, nowadays madhubani painting has like it has been accepted globally and people from different parts of the world are actually you know uh, like uh, demanding for uh, madhubani paintings like in the form of art or madhubani painting in the form of uh, like uh, clothing even the sari suit and dupattas they have prints of madhubani painting on them or furnishings furnishings have madhubani painting on them and it is actually capturing a huge market and there is a market demand for products having madhubani paintings or uh, impressions of madhubani paintings on them so women who know uh, like uh, how to do madhubani painting they are actually encashing this talent and which is a good thing in a way so i hope like i'm successful in telling you a lot of facts about madhubani painting and uh, so this was all for today and uh, like any of you who wishes to have any of the replica of paintings which i have made or i'm planning to do like i'm actually i've undertaken a lot of projects and i'm actually uh, painting a few of them so as soon as they will be completed i'll be uploading the pictures on instagram uh, you can follow me on instagram i'll be mentioning the link in the description box you can search me with the name of satyam vlogs and uh, if you wish to have any of the replicas you can uh, like mention that in the comment section below or you can direct message me on instagram and uh, so i hope today's video was informative for you and uh, this is all for today i'll see you next week with a new video but before that please subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to hit the bell icon uh, to be notified any further when i upload a new video till then stay tuned keep watching keep smiling bye bye take care